ladies and gentlemen, as curtains are coming down on the fourth edition of the two-day Thai conference, we move on to the valedictory session. Let's begin by inviting the office bearers of Thai Kerala to the days. Shri A.B. George, President of Thai Kerala. Shri Rajesh Nair, Vice President Thai Kerala. Wing Commander K. Chandrasheg, Executive Director of Thai Kerala. And Srimadhi Badra, Joint Director of Thai Kerala. Let's welcome them to the days. <laughs> Shri A.B. George, Shri Rajesh Nair, Wing Commander K. Chandrasheghar and Srimadhi Badra. After two days of deliberations, exchange of ideas and constructive interaction, Tycon Kerala 2015 is coming to an end. Though the tangible benefits are yet to be worked out, there is no doubt that the biggest congregation of entrepreneurs in Kerala has once again proved to be a major hit among those who are aspiring to make it big in the world of business as it has been with those who have already made a mark. A hearty welcome to the valedictory function once again. And now let me request Wing Commander K. Chandrasekhar, Executive Director of Thai Kerala, to deliver the welcome address. Thai Kerala President A.V. George, Vice President and uh, Program Chair Rajesh Nair, our new Joint Director Ms. Batra, respected Charter Members, invited guests, Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you all. I have great pleasure today to stand before you to welcome you all to this August gathering, which is the valedictory session of this great event, Tycon Kerala 2015, which you are participating for the last two days. They say, that every good or bad event has to come an end, come to an end. And so also Tycoon Kerala 2015 is coming to its conclusion. We have had two very enjoyable days of networking, knowledge sharing through very eminent speakers, in fact, world-class speakers, couple of them, entertainment, we had fellowship, and all that have to come to an end. But the purpose of organizing this valedictory session itself is to bring this mega event to its logical conclusion, and also to acknowledge and recognize the contributions and services of those who have been toiling to make this event a grand success. My duty, and a pleasant duty at that, and the role now is to briefly introduce and welcome all those contributors to this August gathering. To start with, we have with us Thai Kerala President, Mr. A.V. George, he needs no introduction. He is the patriarch of one of the largest plantations, AVG Group in Kerala. AVG or Gmon, as we call him, is a patron and chief organizer of Tycoon Kerala 2015, who has been toiling and who has spent several sleepless nights, as confirmed by Walsa, our first lady, to make this even happen. We extend them a very, very warm welcome, Jibon. <laughs> we also have great pleasure to welcome to this gathering, as SR said, our Sutradharan of this event, Rajesh Nair, the Director of Market Development, Ernest and Young, who has taken up the pivotal role of program chair this year for Tycoon 2015. He's a workaholic and a real jet setter. I don't know how many of you know that every Friday evening rushes to Bangalore, reaches back on Monday, and in between, whenever he can, he makes another trip. He's been doing for the last two years 
or maybe more. But still, he has been an omnipresence in Cochin, but I would say in all Kerala, actually. Any function, you will find him, and very willingly with his signature smile. And uh, I have, once again, great pleasure to welcome you, Rajesh. <laughs> we have with us Batra. Batra is, though, a newcomer to Thai. Her pretty face is widely known to all of you, they, all of us in Kerala, as a former deputy mayor of Cochin. I'm very happy and proud to announce that Batra has joined the Thai team, Thai secretariat at that, as our joint director. She's an IT professional with an MCA from BMS Engineering College, Bangalore, and has over 15 years of experience in teaching and industry. I'm sure she will add youthfulness and dynamism to the Secretariat team of Thai Kerala. On behalf of Thai Kerala and all of you present here, I welcome her to our fold and also to this August <laughs> gathering. A conference of this dimension cannot happen overnight. What you have experienced during the last two days is a collective effort of all those who are the cogs of the wheel which turned out this event. The number is very large, impossible to name each of them. However, the most important part of my duty is to welcome all these contributors. To start with, our charter members and our members have been part of our planning and executive team for the last six months. And many of them have been very regularly attending these meetings and contributing to ideas, methodologies, and ways of executing this event. We had this year a large number of our members who regularly attended many of our planning meetings and who have been present during the execution stage. And you can see them all around, or you have seen them all around the last two days. So I have a very special welcome to our charter members and members to this gathering. <laughs> we have our sponsors. This year we had 26 of them. Many of them came voluntarily to us. And many of the representatives are present here. And I have great pleasure to welcome them, a special welcome to all of them, because they made this happen, really so. We have speakers. This year we have 70 odd speakers, including the moderators. And many of them, as I said before, are world class standard. And I have great pleasure to uh, extend a special welcome to all our speakers who have come and gone and those who are present here. This year, the marketing, we had focused on digital marketing mostly, and it has been a great success. We had almost Ajit Mopin, and a special welcome to all of them to this meeting. Then there are several other organizations and people. Uh, we have the Watermark event, who is the, who, this is the debut event, the first time we are engaging them, but they really proved the medal. The team led by Mekha and Anoop. I have great pleasure to welcome Mekha and Anoop this evening to this gathering. Then we have media, Smitha, Drumbots, Moon Days, volunteers of LEED and DCMAT College. Their representatives are here. Their faculty members are here. Uh, I welcome 
all of you. We had this startup event, which is a unique feature. You just saw the prize distribution ceremony and also the talk from Andreen. So I specially welcome Andreen to this gathering. Uh, we have the MCs who really coordinated the whole thing and uh, conducted the event in military uh, precision. And there, the general commanding the troop was George Cora, who, who has been singularly responsible for this, the, the, I would say, the orderly execution of this event. I welcome, extend a very special welcome to you, George. I also welcome all, a special welcome at that, all those whose names have left out. And finally, and the most importantly, is the audience who have been with us for two days, who have been staying late, who have been putting up with all other our uh, nuances. And like today, we have not given you the tea break. All that you have been putting up. So I thank you very much for your encouragement, for your cooperation, and your physical presence here. Thank you all. With these words, I request uh, Jibon to kindly take over, preside over the match. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Let me request Sri Avi George, President of Thai Kerala, to deliver the presidential address. Uh, I think I finished my address on the first day, so I'm not going to waste your time. I just want to say that when we started planning this, I think till about two months back, I didn't have a single sponsor. I didn't have a single speaker. I had nothing. And I called all the members, the charter members and all the members together and said, help me out. And bo and behold, look at them. There's so many of them. I'm thankful to all of them. And then when we decided that we're going to have this, we decided we must find a good event manager. And there, we got a new bride into the family. And she had just relocated from Dubai, Mega. And she said, Jipa, I'll organize a whole lot. And great, Mega, Saumya, Anup, you've done a great job. Thank you so much. This, all this would not have been possible but not, if not for the real man behind the show, and that's Rajesh. <laughs> the, the amount he's worked, I don't know how he has energy. I get mails from 2 o'clock at night, 3 o'clock at night, early morning, 5 o'clock, mails are coming from him. And not to beat him was George Gora. Another one. In, in one hour, you'll get 10 mails. They were so precise, so, so, and with Adrian, uh, Andrin looking after the startups and all the inputs he has brought in, brought in all the young blood into the thing, I think somehow we've been able to put up, uh, hopefully, I don't know, ma'am, what do you think? Okay, sure, no? <laughs> so, I, I just want to say how grateful I am for making me the outstanding president. That means I was standing out, the others were doing all the work. So thank you so much. Thank you all for coming. I now, thank you so much. Thank you, sir. May I now request Sri Rajesh Nair, Vice President Tai Kerala and Program Chair of Taikon to sum up the proceedings of the two-day conference. Good evening to all of you. Uh, this is the fourth consecutive year I'm doing the conference summary and I'm conscious of the fact that uh, we have denied TTU. So I'm going to rush it up. <clears throat> Unlike the earlier years, I will not go by, you know, track by track and tell you what happened. So these are some of the things uh, which I will uh, share in the next uh, seven to ten minutes. What, uh, what I'm taking back from uh, this particular Tycon and, you know, uh, the conference here. As you, uh, as you uh, might have heard earlier, 
that you know this entire topic of disruption is uh, is something which is very current right now and when we thought of uh, thinking of a theme uh, disruption was something which came up and then uh, initially we were we were playing with words in terms of the theme and then uh, so jose dominic suggested that you know driving uh, disrupt uh, driving entrepreneurship through disruption and then uh, that stuck for a while we had the theme uh, selected uh, i think probably by around july and post that as you know all of you know most of us have day jobs as well so uh, we forgot about it for 3 months and then we re uh, recouped uh, around september to to figure out how to do this so one of those things in disruption that we thought was you know when we looked at the participants of the last 3 4 years we realized that most of the participants are coming uh, are uh, people who are who are close to 40 years of age uh, who are coming and you know who uh, who have their own takes from the tracks and from the lectures and from uh, the the tycon and uh, while if you look at the kind of queries we get on a daily basis in the tie office it's a much younger crowd and we uh, we started thinking about uh, you know what to do with that uh, that particular segment of people and that's when uh, andrina had invited me to speak at the kitchen and then this idea popped with you know to get these guys and uh, perhaps we should do a, a, a do a startup fest as well and andrin shared some uh, some of the conference pictures that he had been to in dublin etc the web summit etc and then this idea stuck and of course uh, the other charter members uh, you know thought that it was a great idea as well and that's where we started uh from a conference standpoint we have consciously uh, not really looked at uh, a lot of lectures this time a lot of keynotes this time like last year i think the entire focus was to give audience an experience of being in a conference and that experience is from uh, from the startup pavilion from the capital cafe and the mentoring track which some of you may have availed the facilities we had a lot a lot of uh, mentoring applications and we had close to 15 people as i said we even tied up with iim kori code which will be a, you know a, a yearly affair as well uh, for me some of the some of the uh, sessions which will you know which will remain fresh with me for a very long time is one of course is the young entrepreneurs and their uh, their ideas about uh, entrepreneurship some of them at this age itself have gone through couple of ventures already uh, we had uh, inception to exit where three uh, amazing entrepreneurs from kerala recounted their story in their own three imitable uh, inimitable ways and which i don't think a youtube or i don't think any kind of media can capture it unless you are sitting out here and listening to uh, listening to that session so that that's a session which will remain with me uh innovation and disruption we thought uh, initially we thought of one session and then we thought we should have two sessions one focusing on the funds and uh, what they are seeing and one uh, focusing on some of the entrepreneurs and you know what they are doing in that uh, phase uh we had the youngest speaker sara and sara completely tilted the average age of speakers this year at 10 uh, you know last year uh, we had uh, ashok mani who was who was at 26 was the youngest and now we had uh, we have sara so uh, now the challenge is to get somebody who's 5 years old uh, in the next icon and you know uh, hope to get some inputs from entrepreneurship and i wouldn't be surprised you know hearing sara and hearing the maturity in which uh, they speak i'm not, i'm not just saying sara but uh, uh, children of their age uh, speak today i wouldn't be surprised you know uh, soon we will have toddlers coming and teaching us entrepreneurship as well uh, we had uh, we had mr mohan lal and uh, the reason why we showed you that venture is tai wants to adopt that venture and see how it can i think there is a lot of social impact that can bring not just in kerala but to a lot of that community of uh, fishermen and uh, you know young boat users and we hope uh, we hope we will have a continuous uh, treatment with them uh, we always knew that gopi would charm and we always knew that he would enthrall but uh, you know today was uh, another level and i had seen several of his videos uh, in the youtube when we were uh, you know curating this thought of you know gopi or somebody else and then we had decided of course based on the videos that it has to be gopi and then we uh, we asked him to uh, uh, come in from san francisco and we politely like cheapsters asked him to fly economy as well which gopi uh, you know in uh, i'm sure he's never flown economy in the last 2 3 years but he i actually consented and uh, he came along the social experiment i i called up home and i said that you know for the first time in my life i danced and i danced in front of probably some 500 or 600 people and i probably that might have been an experience to a lot of you as well he actually made the entire audience uh, do the you know do the uh, the tune so that was interesting and uh, after dancing to his tunes and you know we really danced to his ideas as well 
I have, you know, we had a mountaineer who spoke here, we had the astronaut who spoke here, but Gopi brought in a very different dimension, and again, it will be one of those uh, lectures which will be remembered for a very long time. Uh, I, uh, I didn't have the opportunity to sit in any session continuously, uh, like some of the earlier icons, but what I have done is, you know, run around uh, and try to get some learnings and to leave you with some, and I'm using some of Gopi's, uh, Gopi's concepts as well, especially for the younger uh, entrepreneurs out here. One is to think 10x, and this is one, uh, some of those things that we tell people uh, around us, that, you know, 5% growth, 10% growth, which was fashionable at one point of time. In fact, if you look at, so for those of you who've read Capital by Piketty, Piketty says that if you had a 0.5% growth in the 1800s, it was like a fascinating growth. And again, if you had a, if you had a sub 5% growth in uh, early uh, 19th century, it was again exciting. But today, if you are not talking of a 25% growth, you're, you're wasting your time and you're wasting somebody else's time. And uh, Google takes it to the next level saying that think 10x, not 10%, but think uh, 10x. The other idea uh, is of course, innovation comes in from everywhere, serendipity. You know, you, uh, you just need an apple to fall on your head and you think of things like gravity. And serendipity is going to happen more and more because uh, technology is disrupting in. Uh, one takeaway I'm taking and what I hear some of the, the angels and the investors told, uh, told the, young, uh, the young entrepreneurs is, uh, don't waste your time perfecting a presentation for a pitch and all that. Use that time to build a prototype and to showcase your product. So prototyping, again Gopi uh, you know, uh, sounded the same thing, echoed the same, uh, same aspect in his lecture. Fail well. Uh, it's okay to fail, and you know I remember uh, Balasan mentioning in one of the earlier lectures, in you know in in uh, in one of our earlier year functions where he said uh, you know if you lose if you fail in a particular venture in Kerala it becomes more than Kerala or any any new uh, ecosystem you are unlikely to get funding but if you go to a established funding the more you have failed the better chances you get to get funding because you know some of the banks think that perhaps you've made all your mistakes and now you're ready for. Uh, funding as well. I'm sure that day will come as well soon. Another thing about, um, this is again a, a piece of advice to uh, people who are doing business plans and I've heard this. You know, we have this tendency to use a small percentage of a large number to describe our market. Let me give you an example. So, if you're selling t-shirts and you say that the population of India is 125 billion and let's say 60 billion wear t-shirts, uh, you know, you think that, okay, I can capture 1% of this 60, uh, you know, or rather 60 crore market. I can capture 1% of the 60 crore markets and, you know, market and that'll, so which means, you know, I can sell 60 lakh t-shirts. It doesn't work that way. And it never works that way. Life is not as easy as that. It's always better to look at a larger percentage of a smaller, uh, you know, smaller uh, sum, which means look at niche markets to begin with, look at capturing these niche markets and then that's where you go mass. So this is something which I heard and I took up. In terms of startups, Sham said in the morning about, uh, in, in the morning yesterday about the WhatsApp moment of banking is here, where banking capacity is increasing by 45% this year. I think the WhatsApp movement for Kerala entrepreneurs is here. We have reached that stage where we will see that huge Cambrian explosion or that huge explosion of ideas and huge explosion. It's not easy. So if you say that there are 10,000 people, 10,000 startups in Kerala does not, you know, it's a fancy number to work with, but we also need to think about creating an ecosystem for some of, some of them. The averages and, you know, the percentages are not very exciting across the world. So you have to be careful. And we, uh, at some level, all of us sitting out here and outside have the, you know, have, uh, have the, uh, the purpose and the responsibility to do this. I'm thankful to uh, the innovative funding models. As I said, it was one of those, um, you know, it was one of those sessions that we conceptualized right in the beginning. I'm uh, thanks to Sanjay and thanks to Madan. Madan, are you here? Madan and Sanjay, you know, uh, very difficult to get them on a Saturday and they've come uh, since I pleaded. So I'll make it up to you guys. Uh, uh, Sanjay decided not to travel in Mukesh Ambani's Gulf Stream and came by Indigo. And uh, Madan also uh, consented to come in today morning. Uh, I thank Chandu for collating some of these ideas. We are learning from Chandu on a daily basis, and you know, so uh, we hope we will have uh, we will have a fund, etc., with uh, with their help uh, coming up. 
Lisa Hedloff, this is the third time she's come and spoken at the ICON. And what was exciting to hear uh, this time is whatever she came and said in the first and second ICONs, she's actually done all that. When she came in the first ICON, all this Bihar thing was an idea. They were looking at 100 schools at that point of time. And uh, she kind of joked that, you know, the, the principal secretary at that point of time, Anjani Singh, said that, no, uh, 100 is not possible. Why, you know, you should look at uh, 1,000. And when you hear stories like these, you get completely humbled by, you know, what are we, you know, what are we actually doing? And this is what she does on a daily, uh, daily basis by changing, uh, changing that and my, that entire ecosystem of uh, girl students and, you know, teaching them something which they will take for the rest of their lives. I think uh, we, are, we are thankful to Indian Angel Network. Uh, we have, we had three of them, uh, to, um, three of them, and Archana is here today, but Padmaja and Digvijay, and we will continue this relationship. We are saying that we will have at least three, four, three, four of these uh, in the in the in the coming uh, in the coming year itself. Agri, as I said, is something that you should take back. Uh, that's going to be a sector of focus besides all the other sectors uh, that we have. I think, uh, as Gopi said, look at your inner journeys as well. Uh, your external journeys are only as good as your internal journeys, or will be only as clear as your internal journeys. Uh, we had a great time uh, organizing this event, and I'm sure um, you know there would have been a lot of gaps because we tried some of the startups, etc. And uh, we will keep on building on it. And as you've seen, you know we we try to give you an improved version every year. Uh, it's the end of it's the end. It's coming to the end of 2015, and you know we we are likely to go into a slight hibernation uh, till 2016. I wish all of you a, a very wonderful 2016. And thank you all for again supporting us, all you good Samaritans out there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And now may I request Srimadhi B. Badra, Joint Director, Thai Kerala, and former Deputy Mayor of Kochi, to propose a vote of thanks. Good evening, esteemed guests on the dais. Sri A. V. George, President, Thai Kerala, Chairman, A. V. G. Group. Mr. Rajesh Nair, Director, Ernst and Eng, and Vice President of Thai Kerala and Taikon Program Chair. Vingamanta Chandrasekhar, Executive Director, Thai Kerala, Charter Members, Distinguished Speakers, Delegates, Friends from the Media, my humble greetings to one and all present here. I'm really happy and it's a great honor to be, become a part of Thai family. And as uh, Sir said now, I joined this organization as Joint Director recently. I have the pleasant task of proposing the vote of thanks to this August gathering here, and I stand before you with a sense of immense happiness. I cannot afford to miss showing my gratitude to another eminent personality of Thai Kerala, Sri Rajesh Nair. Thank you for your kind support, inputs, and guidance. Thank you from Thai. And I now take this opportunity to extend my most sincere gratitude to Sri A.V. George, who not only supported us, but also contributed wholly and solely in planning and execution of this fourth edition of Taikon Kerala. <laughs> my most sincere thanks to all our esteemed and knowledgeable speakers who have come from, from different destinations to share the knowledge and experiences, and I thank you for sharing with us your insights and learnings. In Mahabharata, when Lord Krishna spoke words of wisdom, a great and mighty warrior like Arjuna became a calm and disciplined listener. Similarly, here we have our valued delegates, all eminent in their vocations, gathered here to listen, understand, and interact. I thank each one of you for making it to this conference. I'm sure that your visit to Taikon 2015 was fruitful. Thank you again. We thank our friends and representatives from media for their support and cooperation, which has helped Thai Kerala to reach out to a much larger audience outside this hall. And sponsors. Without sponsors, an event of this dimension will not happen. Thank you very much for your tremendous support. Special thanks to government strategic partner and Federal Bank presenting sponsor. We thank MCs, 
Shripriya, Mekha, and Ajita for their brilliant support. And our event managers, Watermark Event Solutions, Mekha, Saumya, Anup, and team. And on behalf of Thai, I, uh, we thank our digital partner, InnoMind Technologies, Sumit Balans, Saeed, and team. Last two years, they're managing Thai website and Thai social media presence. We also thank our PR person, Smida of Drum Beats, and our official travel agent, Moon Days. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by a motivated and hardworking professional team. I also thank our young volunteer from DC Schools of Management, Trivandrum, and Lead College, Palkart, who have been with us <laughs> since the past three days and ha have helped us immensely with their efforts which has been greatly instrumental in the success of this edition. And I thank Le Meridian, the whole team, especially Mr. Sunil Nair, and last but not least, all the charter members and members of Thai Kerala who had participated. Let me conclude by saying we have certainly come to an end of this function, but just to begin another tomorrow, a new tomorrow. I hope we have discovered new oceans of knowledge here at Taikon Kerala 2015, and I pray that you all enjoy the journey ahead. Thank you all, and see you again in the next Taikon. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. With this, we mark the close of the day's event. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your valuable presence and positive participation. We also request you to join the thank you, thank you by initiative that is going on in the upper space frame here on the first floor. It's a way to thank the migrant workers endlessly meeting deadlines to fulfill the metro rail project. Apart from giving Mithais to them this Diwali, we are also launching a campaign and making a photo video collage. Please join and contribute your best wishes. So that's all ladies and gentlemen, good night and goodbye till we meet again.